Greetings everyone. In today's videos we're going to take a look at Cheng Xing, the Ethereal Cloud. The Ethereal Cloud is a DPS unit that excels primarily in electrical ballistic damage. Her standard skill, Silk Spiritual Slip, can be held to scan the battlefield and locks on to up to five nearby targets. On release, fire homing Spiritual Slips at all mark targets dealing electric damage. All targets hit by the Spiritual Slips are marked for 10 seconds. When Chengxing shoots a target's mark, all marked targets will have their slips detonated, dealing chained electric damage to all marked targets. Do note that some enemies with multiple weak points or breakable armor can have more than one mark on them. This can be further upgraded via Chengxing's Neuronics, Silk Spiritual Slip Cluster Enhancements. With her support skill, Scarlet Thunder Counterblade, Chengxing launches up to five Scarlet Thunder at nearby targets dealing electric damage on hit. They attach to the targets and does continuous electric damage every seconds for 10 seconds. In addition, when an operative shots the weak spot of a target with an attached Scarlet Thunder mark, deal chained electric damage to all targets under the effect of Scarlet Thunder. This can be further upgraded via Chengxing's Neuronics, Scarlet Thunder Counterblade Cluster Enhancements. Her ultimate dominance uses a celestial key to bombard the area in front of her with electric damage. After the initial hit, a large dominant zone will remain active for six seconds, dealing lightning damage to all enemies inside the zone. This can be further upgraded via Chengxing's Neuronics Dominance Cluster Enhancements. Her passive Imperial Bestowal Daewos gives shots fired by her a 50% chance to deal 8% more damage, this can be further increased by 8% for each 100 alignment index she possesses. Unfortunately, the passive only works if Ethereal Cloud is equipped with an electric weapon. When it comes to weapons, the 4-star indicator is a fantastic choice. Although this weapon isn't an electric weapon and loses out of her passive Imperial Bestowal, it still provides a solid 30% ballistic damage buff at max stacks and can passively trigger its talent just by her being on the field. A second choice would be the Duckling, but it does come with the caveat of having to use a support skill before gaining the electrical resistance shred. The big plus here is, it will be able to take advantage of Imperial Bestowal. A 8% damage buff doesn't seem like much, but because it scales with her alignment point, it may become a better option than Indicator down the line. Of course, her best in slot is going to be Anti-Evil Ward. The weapon itself is probably one of the best looking one in the game, and its skill is pretty amazing. Most of her damage is going to be weapon damage. And this weapon is just absolutely loaded with bonus damage perks, but whether or not you want to go for it is up to you. By no means do I think you need the weapon in order to play her. The four star alternatives are serviceable. For logistics, Mingi Squad is recommended. However, that is only if you're running an electric weapon, so either the anti-evil ward or duckling. If you're running indicators or another non-electric assault rifle, I'm going to recommend a Mano Iwato squad. This will give you that 24% ballistic damage buff for the two-piece and an additional 50% while aiming down sights. This effect is very easy to acquire and can have a 100% uptime so long as the operative stays on the field. My second recommendation has a higher damage potential, but is less forgiving. Every bullet is going to count, but Mizuho will give you the 24% ballistic damage for the two-piece and ramp up your damage by 3% while continuously firing your weapon's stacks up to 20 times. This will benefit a lot from a weapon with a high ammo count. I'm not the kind of person that would ever recommend these types of power-ups to my viewers, However, if you do decide to go for her manifestations, she will without a doubt become one of the strongest ballistic damage dealer in the game. Her manifestations are as follows. M1 Breeze. When Ethereal Cloud Shot hits a weak spot, ballistic damage increases by an extra 1% for 3 sec. Max 15 stacks. Shot hit on the target resets the duration, but doesn't add stacks. M2. Fallen Cloud. The durations of Spiritual Slips and Scarlet Thunder increase by 50%. M3 Celestial Tribulation. When Chengxing's shot hits a target with a Spiritual Slip attached, crit damage amplifier increases by 30%. M4 Tiger Wings. Silk Spiritual Slip skill level is increased by 1. 
Shot detonation. Damage is increased to 44% of the shot's damage. M5. Earth support. When spiritual slips are detonated by Chen Xing's shot, there is a 30% chance to deal extra damage, equal to 50% of detonation damage. Reloading. For Neuronix, we want to prioritize the upgrades with the fastest uptime and highest potential damage. Since her standard skill is on a 10 seconds cooldown, it's a great place to start. For our first upgrade, we are going to go with the special node for Silk Spiritual Slip. This will increase the number of targets that can be marked by the slips from 5 to 8. For our second upgrade, the damage node for Silk Spiritual Slip will allow the slips to explode when they expire, dealing 70% of Ethereal Cloud's attack as electric damage. For our third upgrade, the Vulnerability node for Dominance is going to increase our ballistic damage by 20% while standing within the zone created by Dominance. And for our last upgrade, the Special node for Dominance will reset the timer on all spiritual slips in the area after the Celestial Key hits a target. This one does mean you'll have to be mindful to have spiritual slips active on the enemies before casting Dominance, so do keep that in mind. If you plan on running her as a support, you can choose the energy and control nodes for Scarlet Thunder. The energy node will allow you to gain more ultimate energy charge while shooting the weak points on enemies, and the control node will allow you to stun the enemies hit by Scarlet Thunder on the initial cast for two seconds. Alright, so here things get a little more complicated. As a DPS unit, the Ethereal Cloud wants to be on the field pretty much 100% of the time, meaning you'll have to pair her up with a character that will complement her selfish playstyle. Her best teammate by far is going to be Acacia Kaguya. A 24% all damage resistance shred by default is just hard to beat. Our next one is Frisia Hush. Now I know Cirrus just came out, and she is likely a better shielder than Hush. However equipped with Strawberry Shortcake, Hush can offer both attack and defense. Using Xinye Squad for logistics will also allow her to battery the Ethereal Cloud, we definitely do not want to force energy recharge on the ethereal cloud, so getting it from one of her supports is ideal for getting dominance up as often as possible for the 20% ballistic damage buff after casting it. If you don't have a hush, she can be replaced with Frisha Little Sunshine, with or without Strawberry Shortcake. You'll be able to get a nice buff to your damage from her support skill. One of the best characters I think could help push the ethereal cloud to crazy heights is Haru. Haru looks like the perfect teammate in my mind for the Ethereal Cloud, M2 Haru to be more specific, but due to how ultimate energy is managed in Snowbreak, the potential for plays are definitely limited, and characters that should have great synergy are unable to synergize without jumping through hoops. For starters, Haru's support skill when paired with her enhanced Vanishing Phantom node will increase the team's attack by 20% when a target is defeated by Vanishing Phantom, the buff stays active for 20 seconds. This by itself is pretty strong, considering Vanishing. Phantom has one of the shortest cooldowns in the game for support skills at 5 seconds, meaning you could have a 100% uptime on this buff if you manage your adds correctly. Her M1 Tonight We Hunt allows her teammates to now trigger Swords of Oath in her ultimate. M2 would be the icing on the cake for single-target boss damage, essentially increasing Sword of Oath's damage by 50%. So here is the play I see in my head. We activate Vanishing Phantom's effect by getting a final blow with it. This will grant us that 20% attack buff for 20 seconds. Next, we use something like Kaguya's Moon Halo for that 24% debuff. Then, we swap to Haru, and activate Beyond Here Lies Nothing. Swap back to the Ethereal Cloud and cast Dominance. Since Haru's M1 allow teammates to trigger Swords of Oath, we would then proceed to cook a five-course meal, on whatever poor bastard was unlucky enough to be standing at the business end of our weapon. In theory, this works like a dream. However, the way ultimate energy is managed here in Snowbreak hinders plays like this. It's definitely possible, but you'd have to do a lot of setup. In all honesty, I do believe each character should have their own ultimate charge meter, a single bar should not be shared between your three operatives, and the ultimate meter should likely charge passively, but perhaps that's another video. All that aside, I think Cirrus should be a last result because you can't just throw some low-level gear on her. Even when she's in the support slot, she demands some investment in the form of levels and HP gear to provide efficient shielding. Of course, you can run Yao Quiet Quitter, 
or chanxing the observer for sustain at higher difficulty content. In closing, Ethereal Cloud is a powerful DPS that excels in both single-target and multi-target scenarios. Her ability to chain damage between a large group of enemies and damage multiple weak points on a boss is a valuable asset. Where other units would have to choose between damaging the boss or destroying armor, she can do both simultaneously. However, it may be a bit too early to assess her true power at this time. Get back. Excellent. Friends, you know the drill. If you enjoy the video, a like rating would be greatly appreciated. If you decided to subscribe, don't forget to turn on notifications to stay up to date with all of my latest uploads. Until next time, remember to aim at fate and fight by our side. Not enough to change anything. I come bearing blessings to all things. All is cleansed. Nothing to be afraid of. Get back. Repels you!